Welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, and shall we see what's going on on the island of Fawn Hollow today? I don't know why I'm weird, speaking of this weird iambic pentameter. That was iambic pentameter. Why well, I don't think it was. What is iambic pentameter? It's like. Let me close my window. It's like alternating short and long vowel sounds, right? So, like. This. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop it. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> anyway. Oh, nearly knocked over my mic. Hello there everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 3.25pm on Monday, July 6th, 2020. Nothing we need to speak of today. Did you catch that quiz show? I didn't catch that quiz show. Was it Only Connect? I love Only Connect as well. University Challenge good as well. I don't think any of those are running at the moment though. I don't watch, watch them live anyway. I miss out on all the good stuff. So anyway, um, we're just gonna d do stuff today, I guess. Did I play it last night? I guess I did play it last night. I don't really remember, to be honest. Tis all a blur. Apparently I got a lot of money, though. Probably for more deep sea diving. I was probably trying to get the, the stuff I'm missing. Didn't find any, so that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, Nook shopping bamboo grass? Ah, it's the Tanabata um, special furniture item. I'll show you in a sec. What's up, dear? Did you like school? No, I didn't. Gym wasn't hard enough. I tried jumping ahead to college level gym class, but it was still too easy. Guess I'm too swole for school. Anyway, here's to our school days. Coach Rowan. Yeah, school's alright. Didn't have a bad time in school. Um, but I'll show you this. It's very pretty. If you don't know what Tanabata is, it's a Japanese holiday that takes place at some point in July, where basically you make a wish and you tie it to, like, a bamboo board, I suppose. Not bamboo board. What? You write it down on a piece of card and you tie it to a string to, like onto a tree or like a bamboo tree or on when I did it when I was visiting ah, what's that city name I can't remember there was just like basically clothes lines of wishes and you just tied it up and I was like this is cool I like this I don't know what else you do it was like it was basically a big fairground that day there was a lot of like food stores we had a lot of takoyaki a lot of random other foods it's basically just a load of street food which you know I'm not complaining street food's pretty good if you ever watch videos of like those street artisans working on their <laughs> I make it sound <laughs> so much more fanciful than it pro they probably intended to be um, when they just run a food stall I suppose and uh, we don't oh what are you thinking about Roscoe hey chief I gotta tell you something I got in a fight with Diana she was wrong but I lost my cool first okay I'm the only one that lost their cool <laughs> I can I can see that happening so now I feel kind of gross, and I want to say I'm sorry, but I can't make myself apologise. I thought maybe I could at least give her a gift as an apology. What do you think, Chief? I'll deliver it for you. Thanks, Chief. I'll let you do something I could do instead. Uh, I could do it today, depending if we can actually find Diana or not. Diana often seems to be hard to find if she's not in her home. But firstly, we've got to grab some wrapping paper. Everyone's out and about today, enjoying the, the nice weather. Is that nice weather today? No, it's actually kind of overcast. I don't know why I asked that. I went outside today. You know, lockdown restrictions being released a little bit and all that. I tried to go to the bank, sort out some things. I had to go back to the bank on Wednesday. It's interesting just seeing a, what we've got today, a blue one. Um, <laughs> I was just seeing like people queue up outside the bank, I know. I, because even though restrictions are being lifted a little bit, you know, there's still things in place. You've still got to social distance and all that. Just seeing like a line of 10 people outside the bank, just standing a metre apart and everything <laughs> sounds... It's a very interesting sight to behold, I suppose. Um, I don't know if any of you have had that pleasant experience yet. I was about to open that and that would be incredibly rude of me. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I had to go to a bank, I had to sort some stuff out, it doesn't matter. It's not important to y'all. And I had to go back because apparently, um, can do it like that. They, I needed to meet up with a special person to do what I wanted to do, so I was like, alright, fair enough. The only thing that annoys me slightly about that is, I looked up on the, on the website, I was like, hey, <laughs> bank branch I'm associated with, what do I need to do if I want to do this? And they were like, oh, just pop in and um, we can sort it out for you there. So I popped in and I was like, ah, you need to make an appointment. And I was like, alright, fair enough. I mean, it's not that big a deal, the, the bank's not that far away from me or anything, but it's just like, I feel like I should be on the site. You know, it's probably because of a particular circumstance we find ourselves in right now. That's why it wasn't such... That fountain just popped in. Did you see that? Am I going crazy? It didn't spawn in until it was already on screen. I think that is the first time I've ever seen any popping in New Horizons. That's, that's super weird. 
yeah um it's probably just like extraneous circumstances right now which are like oh you can't really just pop in and do things because not all our staff are here and anything which you know makes sense and all that i'm just the type of person who likes to be prepared when it comes to this sort of thing um what is it a bathroom <laughs> sure hold on oh it's not that bad <laughs> i i was thinking like it was just a towel like a bath towel um, and I was like, hmm, that seems like a little bit, um, risque to give as a gift for someone. But now, now actually, this really suits um, your home. Like, um, your, your bathroom themed home for some reason you have, Diana. It would have been better if it was a purple one, I think. I mean, that's, that's on me, because I'm not giving you guys any clothes to style out your outfits with. It's because I'm lazy. Because I, I want to sit down and think of, like... Well, not, I don't have to think of it. I need, I need, I need to just go on that website. But I can't remember what website it is. I don't know. It's in my bookmark somewhere. And just go through that list of like all the, the clothing items they like. And I had to go through them and pick up certain ones I want to give them. But I had to go find them at Able Sisters. But I had to keep track of which ones I've given them. And it's just uh, a lot of effort. I suppose it's the next thing we can do because we don't have a lot of other things we're doing at the moment. Not many other um big goals i suppose so we've got to work towards something because you basically already lay down paths everywhere I, su I mean i suppose the biggest goal we have right now is to catch all the fish and bugs and deep sea creatures we're missing from july which you know that's sort of something which just happens over time we're only like six days in july we don't have to worry all too much hello lily why don't we give you something so yeah we got we got time to sort that out just let it come now naturally you know that sort of thing i'm gonna go back to talking about the bank stuff it's just interesting also the amount of people not wearing masks when they're out in the public i don't know if i i guess technically you don't need to i don't know maybe i'm too paranoid about it but i'm like i'm gonna wear a mask when i go out <laughs> i don't know even though the mask steams up I, I wear glasses if you don't know even though the mask steams up your glasses if you wear it you know i, I kind of want to take precautions i suppose i don't want to be the person to be Infecting others, you know, potentially infecting others. Is that grasshopper? That might be a grasshopper. That is a grasshopper. Almost certainly that's grasshopper. There we go. I caught grasshopper. There, grass act. Classic. Oh, nice chocolate ice cream there. Thanks for delivering that apology gift to Diana. Much obliged. So, did Diana have much to say? Well, actually, well, that's good news. Thanks, Chief. We made up because of you. You're so happy. And you know what goes fantastic with a um, chocolate magnum ice cream? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be dropping name brands. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Who's watching anyway? <laughs> and a, a pair, you know? A nurse's jacket. Interesting. You sure have some interesting clothing items, Roscoe, that you're giving out to people. I'm not going to lie. You know what? Maybe we should change up our style. How long have we had this outfit for? I don't know. I mean, I feel... The summer solstice has happened, right? I'm pretty sure it's happened already. Also, who's our guest for today? What day is it today? Monday. Monday. So we don't have LaBelle, um, Leif, or Kix. We know that for certain. Could have Gulliver, Flick, or CJ. Probably not Gulliver, seeing as we had him last um, week. And also, maybe not Sahara, because we had Sahara as well last week. Apparently, we didn't know how to make this. Thank you very much, Jordi, anyway. But I, um... Yeah, just long queue for bank. I don't know, things are opening up again. Pu pubs are open right now, aren't they? <laughs> it seems a bit bizarre to me to have pubs under social distance distancing rules. Like, I feel like the whole point is to meet up with your mates in a... Apparently everyone's giving me a gift today rather than bells. That's <laughs> very lucky. One day we'll get Vivian's photo. I still don't think we have it. Either that or I accidentally sold it, which would be absolutely horrifying if I did. Or I owe it to my storage and I didn't realise. That's, that's also possible. I've never considered that. We could also decorate our room so it's no longer Easter themed and it's now wedding themed. Um, I don't know why I put blue hyacinths here. That doesn't seem like something I was meant to do. Um, we're just going to look around for fossils. Can't be able to sort out flowers on video anymore. It's not very exciting. You think Gulliver's here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, Vivian, you're not even home. 
Yeah, I feel like pubs under social distancing rules is very interesting. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if you meet ups under social, social distancing rules. It's very awkward, I find. Not awkward, like... Oh man, I, I don't know how to speak to my friends anymore or anything. It's just like, you know, if, it feels a little bit weird. <laughs> it feels a little bit alien. Oh no, there's a wee down there. Can you see that? I missed it entirely in our playground. I'll use a ladder for the first time in ages. For the first time in forever. Okay, I'm going to stop right now. But I don't know. Apparently there are a lot of people outside the pub right now anyway. So they're having a good time. I'm not going to be like, hey, you, stop having a good time, you know? You do what you want. Apparently they're all going to be outside, you know? Just sort of, um... <laughs> so the amount of my villagers that were asking for bugs that I, was, I was holding. Very bizarre. That's why there's so many cicadas and whatnot in the people's houses. Which is, um... Rather... Clashing, I'd say, with a lot of their... Thematics. I wonder what Sylvana's house looks like. I don't think I've ever seen it. Hold on. Sylvana New Horizons. Because if you don't know, she was one of the first three villagers. One of the, sorry, one of the first five villagers. Oh, it's Red who moved in. So she doesn't have her actual customised house. Her tailor-made house. She's got her own, the house we made for her. Puddles and Deli have moved out, so they, they also had it. Oh my god, her house is so pretty. It's Sakura Blossom themed. It's like a spring picnic. It's so gorgeous. And I can't believe we didn't get it. Now I'm almost sad. Alright, let, let's go see Crazy Red. Let's see what paintings you've got. So far we've got New Horizons, Crazy Red, Guide. I don't know if a wiki's got it up yet. Oh, seems like it does. I guess I'll do that. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. So we've got the Vitruvius Man. This is a forgery because it's got a coffee stain on the top right. That moment at least I can tell you it's a forgery because it looks so evil. This is the tidal wave. Ah, I can't remember what it's called. It's always authentic. Okay, so I guess that's what we're going for. I feel like I bought this before though. Let's try and find this statue. Tremendous statue. The forged statue has a lid with a handle in the middle, but genuine only has handles on the side. Oh, this is genuine as well. I guess we'll get this one. Because I've... Something in me is telling me that I've got the tsunami thing before. A tremendous statue. Perfect. We'll take our leave. I wonder if I should get my friends online on Animal Crossing just to get them to buy the other... Paintings and stuff. Because Red has actually come here multiple times with multiple painting, uh, multiple legitimate paintings. So, it'd be so much faster if I just did that. That's another grasshopper right there, isn't it? Um, oh, what are you thinking about, Rowan? Hey dear, got a sec. There's something that's been on my mind. I'm on the fence about whether I should leave this island. Rowan, no! I've been in a slump lately. No matter what kind of weight training I do, I don't get the soreness I want. Maybe working out in a new place would change my mood and give me some of that muscle soreness back. Don't go. Huh? You really want me to stick around? You're right. I busted my tail here. I've drenched this hallowed ground with my sweat. Okay. Alright, you've opened up my eyes. I'm staying right here, Capiche. Good to know. Um, is this an orange rose we want? This is an orange rose we want. Ooh. We need to... Get this out of here. We need to breed this new orange rose with this white rose. And we're getting, we're getting so close. So close to getting a high chance of a, oh my god, which one is it? Oh, it's a buds, of course. To getting a blue rose. Because once once we get these two bred, once we breed these two together, we have a 25% chance of producing a hybrid red. And once we get two of those hybrid reds and breed them together, we'll replace these ones. I hope that wasn't something I needed to catch. And that will give us a 25% chance to get a blue. That's outrageous. You know? Incredible. It's been over 100 days and we're finally so close to getting a blue rose. <laughs> it's crazy how long it takes. Oh, it's meant to be a long-term project, isn't it? Uh, I felt like we haven't visited Able Sisters for, like, years. So why don't we go in here? Why? I don't even take the wetsuit off. 
why can't we just go in with a wetsuit? Why can't we go in with a costume either? And just buy the stuff. And why can't we buy multiple things at once? Okay. <laughs> Flame tea. Classic. Um, whoa, these are pretty. Wait, there's so many pretty things here. Oh my god, it's going to take so long to buy all of these. Okay, I'll buy it off camera if I remember. Hibiscus hairpin. Cute. Uh, I think we got a lot of these already. To be honest. I don't think we have flip flops. I guess we got like... um. A summer thing, a summer selection picked out. That's pretty cool. It's a good thing we visited a Mayboy. Eh? We would have missed out. There's a lot of stuff to buy from there. A lot of a lot of those make great um, dresses. I'm uh, sorry, gifts. I mean, to go to our villages as well. Uh, but anyway, we'll just continue onwards. I haven't been sorting out flowers because I can't be bothered. So we know we had red as our gift and uh, our gift, our guest for today. Today, we're gonna go to. The museum. I don't think I caught any fish or bugs yesterday. No, it doesn't seem like it. Well, Sesame's fossils. We'll give him the grasshopper. I guess I'll cross the grasshopper off my list as well. We've got not many things left apart from the rare beetles. Good morning, Blabber. Sorry to wake you up. And then I guess we'll just do some more deep sea diving. That's when you sorting out the flowers instead. Ah, I missed a fossil. Interesting. Huh. Did I dig up more on that Savannah? Savannah's place? I feel like I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe Did I just walk straight past it? I might have walked straight past it. I actually can't remember. But yeah, that, that's um, what we're doing right now. Just doing a load of deep sea diving, trying to get these final things. I would love to learn a little bit more about this Blavis. Grasshoppers are known for making a chirping sound, but it doesn't sound like chirping to me. They make this rude racket by rubbing their hind legs against their wings. And though they eat seeds and pollen, they sometimes prey on smaller insects too. I say, such violent table manners should not be tolerated. Horrible hoppers. There you go. Horrible hoppers. Isn't it for, like grasshoppers with chirps? You can count them and have like an estimation of a temperature in Fahrenheit or something? I mean, I guess you've got an estimation of a temperature in Fahrenheit by, by default. You also have it in Celsius. But like, um... It's like... Did I give a gift to you? Oh, there you are, Vivian. Um... It's like you count the number of chirps a grasshopper does in some amount of seconds, times it by something, and then from that, it's like an estimate of a temperature in Fahrenheit, because grasshoppers chirp faster when it's warmer weather. Someday, Vivian, you'll give me your photo. I guess maybe we'll just check our storage real quickly. Maybe I actually put it away. She gave it to us ages ago, and I just never realised. It's helped me. <laughs> it's helped me. It's happened to me quite a few times, I think. At least it happened to me with Roscoe's, I think. It happened to me with Axel's, definitely. Like, I almost wouldn't have even seen it if it wasn't for the fact I was, for some reason, watching the video later that day. And I was like, wait a minute, Axel gave me his photo. Didn't even know we were close enough. Let's put this white suit back on. So we can take a dip in the water. I don't know why I said it so weirdly. Um, let's have a quick scan for our storage. It isn't entirely possible if I, if I, miss, I might miss it. If you see it, tell me. But I don't see it here. What? Oh, toy centipedes. I was like, why do we have so many centipedes in here? <laughs> I don't imagine it's going to be the wallpaper section, or the rug section, or the clothing section, for that matter. What enough is that? Oh, it's a tube top. Or front tie tee, even. Alright, doesn't seem like we have it. Vivian, she's just playing it coy, you know? I hope I didn't accidentally set it. That would be disastrous. But anyway, let's go take a dip in the ocean. We'll go hunting for a bit more of them. Um, deep sea creatures that we haven't got yet. Put the orange rose down here. And drop off that recipe in a pile of recipes for Benedict to collect next time. Wait, can we dive off a pier? Didn't mean to do that. I know we can dive off a rocks, but I never really, really considered it. No! <gasps> we can! That was a hefty jump over ropes. I'm not sure I trust myself to jump over ropes like that. <laughs> if your foot gets caught, you're face planting straight into the, the pier. The dock. And that is incredibly painful, I'd imagine. Ooh. So what am I going to do today? What am I going to record today? I think I need to record some Rakuen. Because um, a short hike finished. This is the final episode's either going up today or tomorrow. No, today or Wednesday, sorry. 
So I've got to start getting recording on the next one. I've recorded a lot of Snakebird because, to be honest, I just wanted to play Snakebird. I, I love playing Snakebird. Oh my god, it's so fun. I, I actually want to play more Snakebird, but <laughs> no, I've I got to record some other videos. Otherwise, I'm going to just have a huge backlog of, of Snakebird and nothing else, which is, you know, it's something, but um, it's not what I need right now. But I'm excited to play Rackrun as well. It's interesting me. It's, it's been something that's been on my radar for whenever it came out. How long has it been out? I feel, I feel like it came out in 2015, roughly. So it's been about five years. That's how long it's been on my radar for. And only only just now getting around to playing it. I mean, I'm seeing with Hollow Knight. Same with Bug Fables. Same with a short hike. Which is why I'm glad I'm playing them now. <laughs> They're great fun. And if you're having fun watching, fair enough as well. I don't see myself as the most entertaining person speaking, but I hope it's relaxing at least somewhat. <laughs> Apart from my controller button mashing noises and my constant clearing of my throat. Are you slowly running away from me? Are you a scallop? You might be a scallop. Nope, you're a whelk. Maybe I should, like, have an ASMR voice or something, you know? Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> I just sound, I, I, I sound stupid, I think, doing that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be me, me, me. Just do what I'm doing. Hunting for some deep sea creatures. What sizes are they? Large, medium, medium, medium. Actually, we can't even get the giant isopod. Nor the vampire squid right now. But we can get the, the clam and the pearl oyster. Which this one probably is not going to be because it wasn't moving. That's a sea anemone. I didn't know sea anemones were so colourful. To be honest, my only experience with sea anemones is from finding Nemo. And that's, you know, not the... Well, actually, I hear it's a pretty decently accurate... Um, to marine life video. I mean, of course, stylized as well. They, clownfishes don't obviously have that big eyes and whatever. This is probably Kazami crab, isn't it? No, it's a scallop. So we've got our Pascal visit for today. Uh, maybe not? I thought Pascal could visit every day, maybe he can't. Maybe I read that wrong. But yeah, didn't they, they did like a ton of research for Finding Nemo, didn't they? Like they had to take like a, a marine biology course or something, like the animators or something. Had to take a marine biology course for like a year or something. Before they could start working on it. I might have just made it up. I feel like I read that somewhere. Again, I guess you can't trust everything you read, but still. <laughs> I feel like that's true. In which case, that's an impressive amount of dedication to getting accuracy. I respect that. That sort of accuracy really brings in a sort of another depth and flavour to, um... Well, any sort of media. I was going to say visual media, but I guess that's not necessarily true. But doing your research. The amount of times I see, like, bad maths in <laughs> media just makes me roll my eyes. But when you see good maths, you're like, heck yeah. You're like, this is my jam. <laughs> it's sort of like, they're like, pointing out to you to grab me, like, I know you know this. And I know you care about this, sort of. It's like giving you a shout out. Like, you're in, you're in like, with an inside joke with the animators or something. I know that's not really how it is, but still. I think we should keep the scallops, right? Isn't it? You can give Pascal more scallops. No, wait, how does that make sense? How are you going to even summon him without fishing up a scallop already? Also, I really thought you could meet him multiple times. Um, no, sorry, once a day. New Horizons Pascal. I don't know which of these. Oh yeah, we need to find pearls as well. I guess we haven't done that. There's a chance that Pascal will appear in the waters. Oh, so he doesn't do it all the time. So I guess we keep fishing until we find a Pascal? You can trade a scallop with Pascal once per day, but you might have to find multiple scallops for him to appear. Okay, fair enough. Just keep scrolling, keep scrolling. How do we find pearls, though? Are they also just from deep sea diving? It's on away for me. They are, however, very rare. Oh. Hmm. Pascal. 
Pascal might occasionally trade a pearl for one of his scallops, you find. Interesting. Okay, so it's a very long haul sort of thing, as most things in Animal Crossing are. You're in it for the long haul. You just gotta keep going until you find what you want. And in this case, we want apparel. I wonder if we can donate it to the museum. I've never considered that. Maybe we should also have a look at New Horizons Museum. Ah, uh, maybe when we get all the fish. We're still missing quite a few, f missing quite a few fish. Maybe I should get some fish bait and you know, just do some fish bait fishing off camera. That has a lot of effort. I just assume I'm going to find it within July. I mean, we've only got three left. Ocean sunfish, Napoleon fish, and whale shark. And we got like all of July and August to find them. I don't think there's many new fish or bugs in August because I think most of them are released in July and they just stay around for August as well. Don't quote me on that. A lot of sea grapes, I'm not gonna lie. We can see we're in front of Flo's house because we can see the fencing there. Just seeing what my inventory is shaping up to be like. I wonder quite how rare some of these things are. I feel like I do, I've done a lot of deep sea diving but having not seen any of these rare ones. It's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Not like I've got much control over that, but you know, that's just kind of how it goes. What was I even talking about before? I feel like I was talking about something and I wanted to say more about it, but I can't remember. Ah, oh, well, it probably wasn't very important. Just like most of these conversations were. It's just another one for the books. Another passing day, you know? I'm sort of just like splurging any running thought that's coming through my mind. Like a, what, what, uh, what's that, what's that liter literary technique called? Stream of consciousness, that's right. You, you just basically talk your, run your mouth, you know. The first thing that comes into your mind, you just say it. You just talk about it for ages. That's probably a good improv, you know, um, training exercise. To see how long you can continuously talk about pausing or saying ums, ahs, or whatever the equivalent hesitation word is in your language slash dialect slash vernacular, I suppose. Don't know how else to put it. Roscoe's just having a casual beach day. I mean, we didn't find anything, so I guess we'll just sell this stuff and sort of round off of this episode here. A very mild day today. Got to see some more crazy red way. So that would be something to donate tomorrow. That, that big stone tube thing. Uh, I want to sell some stuff. Let us sell... Da -da 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 -da. Ta 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 I don't know why I said it so weirdly. Sold. Please give me come again. Okay, so let's um do this Nick Miles Plus mission, then I guess we'll round it off here. We've exhausted today. We we've had our a one daily go at trying to get some of these new deep sea creatures and we we missed. And sometimes that happens, you know. Didn't see any big fish as well. But we could get a grasshopper, so that's something. Slowly but surely increasing what's going on. So anyway, uh, what do you think about Lily? Hey there, dear. You know how really good friends sometimes share a secret greeting? That got me wondering what kind of greeting you and I might ruse. You, ruse? You know, if we did that. Oh, please share it with me. How about... Splish Splash to go with Trip Chop. Splish. That's not useful, Splish. I missed up at L. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. How do you spell splash like this? Splish splash. I'm just giving her like onomatopoeic words. Splish splash, drip drop. Secret salutation. Well, without secret salutation. If you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments, or subscriptions are greatly appreciated, and I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, I guess that's our own secret. Goodbye. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.